viewers welcome to another episode about the turkish drones turkish drone maker baker announced that its new model of unmanned combat aerial vehicle ucav the berakter pb3 completed its first first flight to mark the country's centenary on 27 october 2023 on the republic of turkey's centennial the berakter tb3 unmanned aerial vehicle successfully completed its maiden flight selkuk berakter the firm's chief technology officer said on x social media the tb3 a short runway capable version of another one of berak baker's drones the tb2 took off from an air strip in northwestern turkey It's the first of its kind boasting the ability to fold its wings and capable of landing and taking off from a ship Baker noted The UCAV is expected to be able to stay in the air for longer climb to higher altitudes and carry more weapons than TB2 The TB2 has been used in conflicts around the world from Azerbaijan to Libya and more recently Ukraine the tb3 is designed for deployment from a newly commissioned aircraft carrier the tcg anadolu also dubbed the world's first drone carrier the firm added the arm drone is a successor to tb2 well known for its combat successes in libya syria Nagorno Karabakh and more recently Ukraine unlike its TB2 predecessor the TB3 is designed as a naval drone capable of operating from short runways and ship decks Turkey also hopes to commission its navy's new flagship the TCG Anadolu L400 an amphibious assault ship based on Spain's Juan Carlos 1 this year as well Turkey had previously contemplated ordering a small fleet of fifth generation F35B Lightning II short takeoff and landing and vertical landing fighters for the Andalou however Ankara was banned from buying any F35 in 2019 after acquiring advanced S400 air defense missile systems from Russia Instead, Turkey, this Turkey decided it would use the Andalou mainly as a drone carrier. After all, if there is one thing that Turkey has proven itself capable of designing, developing, and deploying, it is armed drones. Thanks to their foldable wings, between 30 to 50 TB3s could operate from the Andalou once it's completed. And Turkey isn't just content with building TB3s for its shiny new flagship. It hopes to export these drones to other countries as it has done with the TB2. The upcoming TB3 will be a great fit for Japan Japan's Izumo class platforms, said Halu Berakter, CEO of of the TB2 and TB3 manufacturer Bera Be, Beyak. in march berakter might be on to something most navies cannot hope to field anything like a modern day american super carrier so most make do with amphibious assault ships landing helicopter docks like the and anadolu japanese azumu class ships were designed for vitol vertical takeoff and landing aircraft such as helicopters as such it is smaller than a conventional aircraft carrier james rogers assistant professor of war studies in at sdu in denmark told this being said the tb3 has been specially designed for takeoff and landing on short runway aircraft carriers and they have foldable wings so the tb3 tb3 could be a way for these smaller carriers to have a fixed wing longer range air power capability
capacity. Rogers went on to note that TB3 is said to fill an important capabilities gap for the Turkey A. With F-35B still unable to be exported to Turkey, the TB3 will provide the Turkey's TCG, TCG Anadolu amphibious assault ship with operational offensive air power, he said. If this proves successful, it will be it will pave the way for other countries with smaller ships to launch what is effectively a drone aircraft carrier with amphibious assault ships are turns where amphibious assault ships are turned into drone motherships. Aside from pro providing armed drones for the Ano Anadolu, Baker might have aims to dominate an emerging market for naval military drones. Airborne drones for the maritime domains are a growth area in military drone development, Rogers said. Russia is experimenting with large VTOL drones and drones launched by catapults from ships for use in and around the North Sea route. Yet out of necessity, Turkey is leading the way with the TB3 for national military use and potential future international sales. Given the fact that TB3 is designed primarily for naval operations, can it realistically replicate the export success of its land-based TB2 predecessor? The TB3 will initially ride off the reported operational success of the TB2 across the world, Baker said. From Libya to Ukraine, the TB2 has been promoted by Turkey as a world-leading drone system. But the TB3 will still need to be proven in the longer term and sold in a responsible way to mitigate misuse by new drone actors. Nevertheless, nevertheless I can see the TB3 beyond visual line of sight flight ability and automated takeoff and landing systems being a unique selling point of the TB3 over the TB2, he concluded. It is an indicator of Turkey is trying to cement its, its place as a drone superpower. That's uh, all the content I have for now. Uh, please uh, like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, you are welcome uh, to ask me. I will try my best to answer them. For until the next video, take care. Bye. Cumhuriyet'in 100. yılında gökyüzüyle buluştu. Savunma sanayinden göğsümüzü kabartan bir haber daha geldi. Bayraktar'ın milli ve özgün olarak geliştirdiği Bayraktar TB3 SİHA ilk uçuşunu başarıyla gerçekleştirdi. Test uçuşu Çorlu'da yapıldı. Saat 8.30'da havalanan Bayraktar TB3, havada yapılan sistem tanımlama testlerini de başarıyla tamamlayarak bir saatlik uçuş gerçekleştirdi. Bayraktar TB3, kısa pist savaş gemileri için tasarlandı. Bayraktar TB3 ve Kızıl Elma, kısa pistli uçak gemilerinden inip kalkış yaptıklarında, yani TCG Anadolu'muzda göreve başladıklarında, aynen SİHA'larımızda olduğu gibi, Muharebe tarihinde devrim yapacaklar. Bayraktar TB3'ler TCG Anadolu'ya konuşlandırıldığında uzun süreli keşif ve taarruz kabiliyetleri sayesinde deniz aşırı operasyonlarda büyük bir kuvvet çarpanı olacak. Kısa pisti gemilerde iniş kalkış yapacak olan Bayraktar TB3'ün ilk uçuşu da Tayı tarafından yerli olarak geliştirilen motorla gerçekleştirildi. 2024 yılında Bayraktar TB3'lerin seri üretimine geçilmesi planlanıyor.